Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today I have the new Maybelline Rebel Bloom Color Sensational Lipstick Line to show you guys. This is just a swatch video. I literally just got home from buying them, so I can't really give you a review on how they operate just yet, but I will definitely be sure to do that at some point on the blog, as well as try and provide dupes. So let's get started. These are lipsticks. It's a 10 lipstick line, like most of the Maybelline lipstick lines. And they come in these pinky, lilac, shiny, semi-sheer um, lids. So that's what you're looking for when you go to the store. According to Maybelline's Instagram, when they Instagrammed these, um, they're not due out until January. But I saw people on the internet finding them. I found them at my local Rite Aid. I tried Target too and they didn't have them at my Target. But um, yeah, so just look around your local stores that sell drugstore makeup products and you might find them. So at Rite Aid, they retail for $7.99, but right now they have a sale so if you use your wellness card, they will be 40% off and you'll get them for $4.79. Obviously, you don't need to buy the entire line like I did, but I really wanted to show them to you guys, so I got the whole line. Right now, I'm wearing number 730 Orchid Ecstasy, and as I said, this is not a review, but I did have a little bit of trouble trying to get this one fully opaque and even, so I'll have to see if that's something that is consistent among all the colors before I do a full review on them. So the first color in the line is number 700, Barely Bloomed. And it's the nude of the line, but it's definitely a peachy nude. Just from the tube, I would say this might make you have dead face, but I'm not sure as I've never tried it, but let me swatch it for you. I couldn't find a ton online about these products, but I did find that they're supposed to be pastel with a big color pop, like a bright pastel, and they're also supposed to be very creamy. So this is how this one looks, and that is barely bloomed. That's the nude. It's a very, very peachy nude. Next one is 705 Blushing Bud. And this looks like a uh, light rosy, dusty pink. Here it is. It's very pretty. This is definitely one of my kind of colors. And I am finding with the swatches, I have to go back and forth a few times to get the color opacity. That might have something to do with the creaminess involved with these ones. There you go. It's just a very yellow based light pink. Very pretty. I like that one. Next is 710 Petal Pink, which seems to be more of just a really true bright baby pink. Oh yeah, this is totally pastel baby pink. Full on right there. A bit blue based. And that was Petal Pink. Next one is 715 Hibiscus Pop. This tea seems to be a say, along the same lines of the previous one, but like brighter. Oh, let me show it to you real quick. Yeah, it's actually very similar, but a little brighter, a little more yellowy, and it seems to be a bit more sheer. So that's hibiscus pop. And the last one for this hand is 720 Power Peony. And this seems to be going a little more lilac y, a little more purple based. Maybe that uh, vivid wild orchid kind of tone. But still very pink. Definitely like the hot pink of the group, I think. That power peony. Now on to the next five. We have 725 Lilac Flush, which is a lilac. 
<laughs> very much a lilac. Kind of reminds me of something you might see from Lime Crime, or um, maybe uh, one of the NYX macaroons or something like that. Very much a purpley lilac color. I could see that being really pretty for, oh, I got a hair on it, for um, spring, Easter. So that's pretty. I like that. Don't know if I can pull it off, but I like it. And then we have the one I'm wearing, which is 730 Orchid Ecstasy. And as you can see on my lips, this is definitely like a, an orchid. It actually kind of reminds me of... It reminds me a lot of my favorite lipstick, Petals and Peacocks. I actually I might grab that in a second so we could do a comparison. So that is that. And while I actually have this on my mind, let's do a comparison because I have Petals and Peacocks right here on my desk. Oop, not lose the lid. So let me just do a brief swatch of that. Yeah, they are actually really similar. Which is a relief to me because Petals and Peacocks is my favorite color, my favorite lipstick, and it's limited edition. So Petals and Peacocks is a little more opaque, a little more creamy, but they are essentially the same color. That's pretty exciting. Ah, I love that. So next color in the line is 735 Rose Rush, which I'm guessing is a red. In the tube it looks like an orangey red. Yes, and it definitely comes out that way on the hand, in the swatch. This looks like one of their vivid colors, actually. Why not? I've already done it once. Let's compare. Let me dig that out of my drawer. No, not on fire red. Neon red, maybe? Let's do a swatch of neon red. Yeah, this looks a lot like neon red only. The only difference here is that neon red from the Vivid's line is more orange, and I think that this one, Rose Rush, has a tad more of a pink quality to it. So they're very similar too. We're just finding all kinds of dupes as we go along. And next is 740 Coral Burst. This is so pretty! Oh my god, it's so pretty. Let's do a swatch of Rooney of that one. Oh my god. This is so pretty. I can't wait to wear this in the spring. Let me bust that out again. So this is what it looks like. That, ugh. Oh, it's just so neon coral, but a little bit muted, not like in your face neon. That's gorgeous. That is pretty stuff right there. Just looking at them, that might be my favorite, like, most sort of unique color in the line. But we have one more to go. So this is Peach Poppy for, no, 745. And it looks like that. Very kind of pastel baby peach sherbet kind of color. Really pretty. Really pretty. Let's swatch that one. That's actually really pretty. So that's more of a... It's like the peach you would get a few steps before you headed into a peachy nude. It's just a very light, creamy, sherbet-y peach. Really pretty. So, that is all the colors from the... Rebel Bloom collection from Maybelline, which should be everywhere, I'm guessing, by early January. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sure it'll sell out. But it is a permanent collection, as far as I know. So if you can't find one and you really wanted it, I wouldn't worry too much. I'm sure they'll be restocked. And um, I'll definitely have to review and find more dupes for these. Uh, and I'll put that on my blog. I'm thinking this one... I feel like that might be Pink Nouveau or hmm, St. Germain maybe from MAC? Let me, now that I'm all up in it, like I just want to find the dupes now. Let's see. Oh yeah, that one looks a lot like St. Germain. 
think like I feel like the other one looks a lot like Pink Nouveau. Let's try that. Hmm. Pink Nouveau is a little darker. But okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumb, a thumb, a thumbs up if I could talk. And if you would like to stick around for a while, I'd love if you hit that subscribe button. Because I'd certainly enjoy having you as one of my viewers. I love you guys. Bye-bye.